Live from Las Vegas, it's theCUBE. Covering Veritas Vision 2017. Brought to you by Veritas. Welcome back to the Aria Hotel and Veritas Vision 2017. This is theCUBE, the leader in live tech coverage. We go out to the events and extract the signal from the noise. My name is Dave Vellante and I'm here with my co-host, Stuart Miniman, Rama Kalapan is here. He's the vice, worldwide vice president of product management and global alliances. Rama, thanks for coming on theCUBE. Thank you, thanks for having me. You're welcome. So 360 is a big topic of conversation. It's a fundamental strategic evolution for Veritas. Why is 360 data management needed? So 360 data management is an integrated set of products uh, and solutions, if you will, uh, that helps you with data protection, uh, also with uh, copy data management uh, use cases, uh, if you want to move the data and workload for some of the resiliency uh, services as well. And uh, if, you, uh, if a customer is also looking for um, any of the, the, the data visibility, which is a very important part of the 360 data management, so we can offer all of it as part of like one platform. So it is a very powerful integrated solution uh, set, if you will. So. so we should think of it as a platform, not a product. Everybody talks about platforms today, yes. the API economy, platforms beat, beat products is sort of the, the mantra, right? Is that the right way to think about it? Uh, correct, and uh, also we make sure that the different solutions which is part of 360 data management uh, suite works with each other, right? For example, if you actually back up your data, you should be able to use the same copy uh, to do a dev test. So we have a solution called Velocity that is part of a uh, copy data management solution. You should, be use, uh, you should be able to use the backup data to do your uh, disaster recovery if you can. Right? So how does that resonate with customers? I mean, does, does, uh, uh, I get the, the platform perspective, certainly from a vendor yeah. you know, view, you got to have the platform. Do the customers see it the same way? Or do they just want to buy products? No, so uh, it is a suite, right? And uh, what customers want, especially enterprise customers, uh, they're looking for uh, to partner with a vendor, like for example us, uh, to one is for data protection, primarily uh, in many cases. Uh, once you protect your data, they're looking for instead of uh, five other products to use, I can use the same data and how can I get value out of it? So I need to have the visibility about the data itself. So we have our InfoMap solution as part of 360 DM Suite to give you the visibility uh, of what the data is uh, with all the metadata uh, information through that. And uh, once they back up the data, they also have other, uh, uh, other uh, uh, things to do with respect to moving your data, uh, moving your workload, and especially with the cloud uh, adoption. Many of them are going through the transformation, uh, data center consolidation, uh, cloud adoption, and so on and so forth, and they need to move their data and workload, say, from on-prem to cloud. And you can also do it from cloud to cloud also, which is coming soon. Um, so some of those challenges are very critical and they are looking for uh, 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 someone like Veritas who can offer that solution for them, which is essentially protect it, move your data, workload, be able to do copy data management on it uh, for dev test use cases, be able to provide visibility, and the digital compliance is a big factor which I haven't even gone uh, deeper into. There are a lot of solutions to offer uh, uh, for the customers. Yeah, you know, Ramak, take us inside how 360 data management fulfills the vision that was laid out a year ago. You know, I, I think back to early in my career, yes. it was like, you know, it was the hardware, you know, you followed the TikTok of Intel. Today, software, <laughs> we can usually talk a little bit further about the roadmap, but you know, customers are going to hold you, well, can I use it now? Do you have all those pieces? You know, what, 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 what's, what kind of pieces have been filled in this week? And uh, you know, where, where are the pieces where it's you know, more aspirational than uh, you know, where we are today? I'm, I'm surprised you remember the TikTok model, <laughs> which is essentially uh, go through the process and architecture change yeah. uh, alternatively yeah, at Intel, right. right? That's the model I, I was there uh, for like nine uh -huh. years or so. Marching yeah. to the cadence of Moore's Law. That's <laughs> yeah, what we used to do as an industry. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> so for 360 data management, uh, we announced it uh, last year uh, at Vision. <laughs> and at that point, we are putting in the solutions and the use cases together. And what we did, we worked really hard uh, the, the last past one year to make sure that uh, we put these uh, solutions together. One, they should work with each other. Two, we have a tighter integration. Uh, and three, we should be also uh, adding more solution together and we made it also easier for customer to buy. It's one SKU, 
right? So you don't need to have uh, multiple SKUs to do 10 different things. Uh, it's much easier to buy. It'll do all the things that uh, customer, enterprise customer want with all the uh, stuff that I talked about earlier. And uh, from there on, they should be also, we should be able to also uh, cater to some of the newer problems that customers have, which is essentially we launched CloudPoint, for example, uh, which does the snapshot management, and we're adding more capabilities to it. Uh, and going forward, you will see that the 360 data management itself will evolve to cater to the customer needs. Uh, we always uh, place customer in the forefront and make sure that uh, their needs are met first, and rest of it will design the, the solution uh, based on their needs. Yeah, we, we spoke to Mike Palmer this morning, uh, and we said one of the things he, he said kind of matured a little bit is that interaction with the cloud. Uh, you know, when, when you get down into it, it's nice to talk about public clouds and people use many clouds, but they're all a little bit different. Yes. So maybe take us inside. There's a couple announcements you made. Maybe give us a little bit of color on that. And you know, come on, tell us how is it working <laughs> with all of these you know big players. So I run the uh, uh, technology alliances team here as well. So my team uh, works with the various cloud vendors, um, which is essentially our uh, Azure through IBM, Google, a uh, AWS, and so on and so forth, right? So we are already working with uh, AWS on uh, multiple product integration, deeper integration. Um, with Azure, um, we are making sure that from some other roadmap, like when recently we launched Enterprise Vault, to make sure that it supports uh, Azure uh, blob storage, and then also we launched the VRP release that, hap that happened uh, very recently, support for Azure as well. Um, and we make sure that the other products that I talked about uh, have the cloud as a significant piece of it, part of the roadmap. We have other vendors that uh, we are partners that we are working with, like IBM, uh, Google, et cetera. They have their own strengths, and uh, we are initially going to go, uh, we already sell a net backup as part of, uh, uh, for, with IBM. Uh, we've been doing that business with them for more than 10 years, right? So uh, there is a lot of uh, uh, moving parts in the sense that uh, they are coming up with a lot of innovation, we are coming up with a lot of innovation, and uh, we make sure that uh, we deliver what the customers want with those uh, cloud vendors. And a very uh, simple example is that uh, if you want to do a data uh, and workload migration uh, on-prem to cloud, we can help with that very uh, critical use case for anyone who's going to uh, looking at cloud transformation and, and, and journey to cloud. And likewise, basic use cases also, like backup to cloud, backup in cloud, uh, uh, disaster recovery, migration, dev test, and, thing, and, and these use cases are is what we target, and it is part of the 360 data management suite itself. Can I ask you, it's kind of a wonky question, but it's something I'm curious about. Uh, and we talked to Mike Palmer a little bit about it. Uh, the, the challenge of yes. integrating to various cloud services and, and, and the, the, the non-trivial nature of that, and his answer was actually quite interesting. He said, listen, it was a lot harder when we had a gazillion OS's, a lot easier now. But I want to understand that better. So when you look at, and I'm going to pick AWS only because I know it a little bit better in their services, but when you, you look at the myriad of data sort of services that they have, are you just targeting the data stores, like an S3 or an EBS or a Glacier, or do you have to also think about integrating with other data types, uh, DynamoDB, uh, Kinesis, yep. uh, Redshift, Aurora, uh, et cetera, et cetera? Um, how far do you have to go, and what are the complexities of doing that? It's very interesting time, right? Uh, there are various cloud service providers who are there, and each of them have their own services and their own storage, right? So there's no one standard. Uh, S3 has been a standard for uh, last one or two years or so. What we are doing is that we are looking at the portfolio, and uh, we look at the use cases what we are trying to solve for the customers uh, in the cloud. And based on that, um, we actually have some basic use cases which you don't need a full integration, you need some integration with some of those services, uh, which is where like VRP, we're doing a lot of uh, closer integration uh, with AWS and uh, other service providers as well. Uh, going forward, we will be using some of those, you mentioned about many DynamoDB and other services that they have, machine learning uh, services that they have. Sure. And different uh, cloud providers have their own strengths in where they, uh, what they offer. Mm -hmm. So we will be looking to integrate with our, exist our existing portfolio with some of those services so that uh, it is beneficial for customer. For example, if a customer wants to use only AWS, uh, we are tightly integrated so that they get the best experience in AWS. Same thing with Azure, same thing with Google Cloud, same thing with IBM 
uh, cloud. Same thing with uh, Oracle Public Cloud. So that's our direction. Uh, first things first, get all of these basic use cases catered to for the customer. Going forward, have a tighter integration with their, with their services. In, in your value in, in that chain is, is visibility and management. It's, it's not so much optimization of that service. So, uh, is it, I, I wouldn't call it as optimization of service. Right. It's, uh, we focus a lot on the data visibility. I think uh, in the keynote and in my keynote, you might have heard also, is that some of the things that customers, we talk to customers uh, a lot and we find that Many of the, many times they don't know what they have it. We, everyone knows it, it's called dark data, right? Uh, we provide the visibility so that uh, they know what data they have before they do any migration. They know what needs to be migrated. And mm -hmm. as you all know, there are different storage tiers in, uh, uh, in cloud. Yeah, like your S3, S3 IA, your, you have your Glacier. And it is expensive to bring data back from say Glacier to uh, any other storage tier or on-prem. So you need to have the visibility before you send the data out, yep. right? So we help with that as well. So that so visibility plays a very critical role in, in uh, uh, so many areas, not even just cloud, but also on-prem as well. Right. Yeah. Rama, 360 data management, you said vision was laid out a year ago, a lot of the pieces are in, in, in place now. How are you tracking success? You know, can you give us you know, how many customers are doing or just kind of growth adoption? And, and how should we be looking forward to kind of measure and you know, say, say how good this is doing? <clears throat> so we actually uh, launched 360 data management not too long ago in the sense we put the package together, program together. Um, and uh, as part of it, we saw extremely, uh, a lot of good traction. Uh, not just from one geo, we actually uh, so, uh, saw a lot of traction in uh, Asia Pacific, uh, in EMEA, in, uh, in, in Americas as well. Uh, a lot of the customers are looking for, uh, I mean there are three tiers to it as well. We have bronze, gold, silver, uh, right? And uh, we see equal traction in, uh, across the board. And uh, right now I can't give you the numbers, numbers, uh, uh, but having said that, uh, we see a lot of traction uh, from customers on uh, adoption and we have a huge pipeline uh, where customers are very interested. These are net backup customers who are looking to do many other things like uh, resiliency uh, services, uh, like copy data management, so on and so forth. So the 360 data management really solves the problem, uh, what they're looking for. Yeah, can, can you give us a little color, the packaging and pricing, it's a subscription model, my understanding, uh, it is which a is a little different model, than but kind of the traditional, and you know, what, what, what are you seeing, what's the feedback been from customers? So it is a subscription model when we uh, went, to uh, went to market, uh, we are going to be offering as a perpetual as well. Uh, so there is a, a gold, silver, bronze tier, I had mentioned it. We have uh, net backup, info map, uh, and also, EV file as part of the bronze, and then you have uh, uh, VRP as part of the silver plus bronze together, and then in your gold, we have uh, access uh, uh, also as part of the uh, solution. So they, they can pick what they want, and from uh, uh, going forward, uh, we do hear feedback from customers that they want perpetual as well, so we already, uh, we heard them, uh, we'll make it happen. How about the, the small, mid-size? Business. Um, what are you What are you doing for them? And we can talk about that a little bit. Uh, I'm glad you asked that because uh, a lot of the 360 data management is centered around net backup, right? And yeah. with net backup uh, 8.1, we had all the good releases. There are also uh, a lot of our SMB and mid market customers, and we have our, uh, a solution called uh, a Backup Exec. And I'm sure most of you are uh, aware of uh, Backup Exec. It's been mm -hmm. there for many years. Uh, so backup exec solves the problem, and uh, within backup exec, we make sure that uh, there are a lot of uh, SMB customers who have like three or four backup products, and we want to make sure that there's like one product that can protect the physical, virtual, and cloud environments. Uh, so backup exec does that. Um, last question: it's kind of the ecosystem, it's it's evolving. Um, you guys have great ambitions. Microsoft was here, had a big big presence. Maybe just general thoughts on the ecosystem and specifically your relationship with Microsoft and other cloud suppliers? So, uh, we work very closely from strategic level with the CSPs, uh, we call them the, the cloud service providers. With Microsoft, we are doing a lot of, uh, not just product integration for Azure, uh, we'll also be supporting many things for Azure Stack going forward. Uh, we are working with them on that. Uh, also, I mentioned about backup exec, we're also going to market, we are spending a uh, 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 significant amount of money to define the go to uh, to go to market with them with their partners and so on and so forth not just for backup exec but across for all uh, other products 
That said, uh, we also have other partners from the cloud service provider point of view. Uh, there is a lot of effort happening from product integration, uh, defining go-to-market, mm -hmm. and uh, as we define that, we're also engaging with their channel partners, who are also our channel partners, uh, to, to help with the go-to-market. Cool. All right. Well listen, thanks very much uh, for coming on theCUBE, Rama. Really great to meet you and great to talk to you. Thank you, thank you for having me. You're welcome. All right, keep it right there, everybody. We'll be back with our next guest. This is theCUBE, we're live from Veritas Vision 2017. Be right back. <laughs>